first thing we need to do is to get our bottle cap and measure the width so we can decide how wide we want our wristband. So this is the bottle cap I'm using and I'm going to estimate around here. So now you can take a ruler and a rotary cutter and slip right through there or you can take a regular pair of scissors. So you can see I started on this side. I'm going to use some pinking shears just to give it a more decorative edge. So I'm just going to cut right along there. And this is going to be my, my wristband. I'm using some oilcloth fabric here. You can use any kind of vinyl as, way, as well. Um, faux suede would work fine also. Anything you want, you can just put that there. So this is going to be our wristband. Now I'm going to use some blue felt here. It's like a nice turquoise color. Um, this is the part that's going to be the actual pin cushion part that you'll be sticking your pins in. So what you want to do is find something. I'm using this big cup, a little dish, anything that's going to give you a nice circle size and let it be about three to four times bigger than your actual bottle cap. So I'm going to place this down and take my little chalk marker, trace all the way around. Now you can take a pair of scissors and just cut around that circle. To stuff our little pin cushion top, I'm using here some scraps of batting that I had. You can use some of that polyfill stuff that they used to stuff um, stuffed animals with, or you can even use a bunch of cotton balls. So this, since this is batting, I'm just shredding it up, okay, just like this. Make a nice little ball size. You're going to place it in the center of your big circle that you cut. Now you're going to pull in two sides, just like that, okay? And then you're going to eventually pull in these two sides. And we're actually going to hand stitch this in place. So that's going to be the top of our little pin cushion, okay? So now, I've threaded a needle here with some thread. And you see there's one short tail here and a longer tail. The longer tail, this is how I tie my knots. I'll wrap it around my finger and then here I just roll it off the end of my finger and then I slide all that bulk back and that gives me a nice chunky little knot so that's what I need Now, like I said pinch these two sides in and this does not have to be pretty you just are going to tie this in order to get it to stay in place so just do two, big, two or three big stitches like that you see those sides are held in now just grab the other open sides and try to get this all to come in the center here and here. Take your needle and do the exact same thing. Go through all those layers. Come out. Doesn't have to be neat. Okay, this is all going to be hidden. You won't see this part. We're just trying to get it to cup around. And now you can just pull in all the other corners. Just try to get everything to come in the center like that. Do it to all your corners. I want to pull in this last little one here, and you always want to make sure to secure your threads. So I'm just going to take a loop anywhere. And now this loop that's here left, before I fully tighten it, I'll put my needle through there, and then swing it right back around and do it again. And that's going to tie a nice little knot for me. Okay? So there's our little ball. Squish it around, and that's where this is going to go to make your pin cushion. Now you want to glue your little pincushion top into your plastic bottle cap. So I'm using Gorilla Glue. You can use any other adhesive that you like or that you think is going to hold this stuff down. Gorilla Glue requires some water, so we have to dampen this up a little bit. And now I'm just going to go a nice little thin circle around here. I'm going to put my little pincushion top in there and press it down nice and tight. What I like to do is to put a clothespin like that to apply some pressure and hold it down. Now let's set that aside. My wristband is 9 inches long. I'm going to place it on my wrist now to make a couple of marks and decide where I want my snap closures to be. So that feels about right for me. And I'm going to estimate somewhere around here okay that I want the snap closure to be and then on this side when it comes over it's about right there okay so I have my two little marks now using the pliers and the tools that I got from camsnaps.com I'm going to use my awl and make a hole here okay 
and get my awl and use in the other spot right there. So I have my two little holes. Now this is important. You want to make sure that you have the snaps facing the correct side. So since this is going to be the side that I have underneath, I want to make sure that the socket is facing up here. So right there, I'll take one of these pieces and place it in the back through my little hole, just like that. And I'll take the socket, place it on top, press it down. Now I'll take my pliers, slip this in, make sure it's centered, and press down. And that's attached. Now remember, these are overlapping. So, since this one is coming around the top, I want to make sure that now the stud part is on the inside. I like to do them step by step like that so I don't get confused. So the back goes on this side, and the stud goes in the front, press it down, pliers again, make sure it's nice and centered, and press down tightly. Now that I've applied my snaps, you should see the socket facing one side and the stud on the other. They must be opposite sides since they will overlap. Let's try it on. Just like that. So that would fit nicely. And I just need my little pincushion top up here. Now I'm going to put it on again to see where exactly I want the top of my pincushion to be. So if I have the snap there, comfortable for me would be here. Okay, take it off. Now it's time to apply our pincushion top. Again, I'm using some Gorilla Glue and water is what activates it, so I'll just moisten this up a bit. Apply my glue in a nice little thin circle, not too much because this glue expands. And then I'll just put it down in the center. And I like to take some clothespins to hold it in down and apply some pressure since I said the glue does expand. Do it just like this and leave it like that to dry overnight. So when you're all finished, you can put it on using your snap that we got from Cam Snaps and put some pins on it and there's your little pin cushion.